Hi YouTube! So here am I with a new video about OPCOA. Last time we have used the OPCOA modeler from the Free OPCOA project to design an OPCOA server and we have exported our server structure into an XML file. Then we have used this XML file and imported it into a OPCOA server written in Python. And today I want to show you how to use the same XML file to create an OPCOA server with Open6254.1, which is a C library for OPCOA servers. But before I jump into it, let's take a look, a brief look at my um, OPCUA server again. So here am I in the free OPCUA modeler. And you can see here the structure of my server. And I've already added two objects here in my object folder. So here we have the object light bulb and an object temperature sensor. Both are in namespace 1, which is named room 1. And the light bulb has three um, variable nodes. The first one is the serial number with the value 9876.5432. We have a variable for the state of the light bulb, which is a Boolean variable. And we have a vendor name, which is bright light in my case here. Then we have a temperature sensor with a serial number, which is 1234567.8, a variable for the temperature, which is set to 20 degrees here, and a vendor name, which is set to sensors king. And after implementing um, these nodes here, we could go to save or save as and export our service structure to an XML file. And now I want to use this XML file to generate the code for an Open6254.1 server. And we can do this by using a so-called um, NodeSec compiler. So what I've already done here is I have cloned, um, now with this clone, I have cloned um, the open 6254one's GitHub repository here. Here you can see it. Here it is. And if we go here into um, tools, we can find a folder called Node Set Compiler. And in that's it, inside this folder, we can find a Python script called Node Set Compiler.py. And this program takes our XML file and generates the source code for an Open6254.1 server with the same structure as described in the XML file. So now I want to use this program to generate these source files. But before I can do this, we have to get some more modules. So I will execute a git submodule update in it. And this will fetch two more, um, two more repositories. And this one here is pretty important because in here we will, we will have one file which we have to use later. So this takes a little time. All we can do is wait. But here we are now. Okay. So I will cd back into the notes and compilers folder. And now I want to execute the node set compiler. .py. Okay. And I have to give it some arguments. The first argument is called types array. And this argument um, specifies which data types I want to use. As I want to use the default OPC UA data types, I will set this to UA types. The next argument is a little bit harder to understand. It's called, the tag is called existing. And here, um, and as an argument here, I will pass an XML file, which is stored in dependencies, UA, node set, and this is 
the repository we just have cloned here, or the submodule we have just cloned here, scheme opc dot ua dot node set and here we need um, node set 2 dot xml so this file here contains um, the description of um, a default opc ua server so it contains namespace 0 and the um, service object which stores um, some service variables but also stores all the data types we want to use. And I will need these um, defined data types to compile uh, my source code or to get my source code, but I don't want to um, I don't want to include all these nodes in my source code because later when we are creating our server, I will call the function new a server config set default, which will include all the default settings too. So with this existing tag here, I say use this XML file to compile my node sets, but don't um, include these node sets into my um, XML file. If I wish to um, to um, use it to have it into my output source code, I would replace um, existing with um, XML, with the XML tag, because this is the tag under which we have to define our input files. But I will go with existing here. And the next argument is the, lo the location of the XML file of our custom server. And I have stored it in my home directory, program, custom, server, my server.xml. Okay, and now the last thing we have to specify is the output path. So where it should um, where it should save the generated source code and under which name it should um, save it. So I will store it in this folder here too. And the name should be my server and the output will be one C file and one header file. So now let's execute this. Okay, so here we are now. And if I cd into my program custom server folder and look what's in here, I can, I now, I can now see here are two new files, my server.c and my server.h. So let's look at them. First, the my server.h file just um, includes the header for the Open6254.1 server. And down here we have one function and this function will add all the nodes described in the XML file to my server. So if I look into the ser my server.c file, I can now see there are a lot of functions to um, add all the nodes I need. And down here we have the function my server, which will actually add all the nodes I need. So now the next step is to take a basic Open6254.1 server. You can get the source code for this um, on the Open6254.1 documentation page. So here it is. It's just a basic server. And the first thing I will do here is I will um, add my generated um, H file with the default with, with the server structure okay so we'll include the file my server.h here and here in main i'm setting up a stop handler to stop my opc ua server when i press ctrl c here i'm creating my server's instance here i'm importing all the default settings and now I can um, add my custom server structure. Okay. And for doing so, I will call the function my server, and I have to pass my server instance pointer here. 
And now I have to check if return value is not equal to um, QA status code good. An error occurred. My server, um, my custom server structure couldn't be imported correctly. So I will print out um, could not add custom server structure. I will return with minus one here. And I will delete my server's instance here. Okay, but normally um, we should be able to import our um, custom nodes. So I can um, stop my server and after pressing Control C, I will delete the server and return if the server was shut down successful or not. Okay, so now let's compile it. For compilation, I will use the new compiler's collection C compiler. My input files are my custom server.c, my server.c, and my output should be my custom server. And I want to use the open 62541 library. So let's try to compile it. Looks good. Let's start my server here. Okay, now the server is running, and now I will connect with the OPC UA client, which is a graphical OPC UA client, which is a graphical client for OPC UA. I will connect to my localhost. And now here we can see here in our server structure we have our two objects, the light bulb and the temperature sensor. And now let's check some variables here. For example, the serial number is 1234567.8, vendor name is Sensor King, and let's check the vendor name of the light bulb, which is Bright Light. So great, we have successfully um, created an Open 62541 server out of our generated XML files from the free OPC UA modeler. So, it's great, so you don't have to set up your whole server using the function offered by Open 62541, but you can also use such a graphical OPC UA modeler to achieve um, such a server in a maybe more comfortable way. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.